not mistaken, and I'm not. Apparently someone's in a whole pack of trouble, huh? You've made a mistake, I didn't do anything. Let's see, you're Jenny Martin, right? Yeah. You know a Mark Simpson. Barely. We hang out with him close sometimes. Well, you obviously know him well enough to sell him some drugs. Cocaine, to be exact. I don't know what you're talking about. That, that's nothing but... Please, spare me the song and dance. This photo was taken tonight at the Crush Club. That is you at the table with Mark, is it not? Well... Actually, that was a rhetorical question. We both know it is. An envelope package slide in between you, that would be? I have no idea. I... It's pretty high grade code. We already had it tested. The pitch is not bad either. I bet you didn't even notice the guy taking the pitch at the next table. I gotta tell you, those digital cameras are amazing. So now you want to cut the crap and tell me about it? I was just doing him a favor. So you gave a guy you barely know a rat package and asked no questions? That's what happened. Okay, you stick to that story. If nothing else, you'll give the judge and jury a really good laugh. It's not a story. It's the truth. Look, Mark Simpson is an undercover cop. We had the crush club under surveillance for quite a while now, not to mention some of his patrons. So if you're going to stick to that story, you excuse me while I go speak to someone else in the neighborhood who doesn't want to spend the next 10 to 25 in jail. Have a nice day. I can't go to jail. Sure you can. You walk into court with the BS you're trying to pull in here, going to jail would not be a problem. Ever getting out again? Well, that's another story. But I didn't do anything. Look, I'm going to give you one last chance to cut the crap and talk to me. Do you really think we're interested in you? Don't get me wrong. We will put you away. Or we're much more interested than the guy that's paying you. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> Look, we know you're stupid. The question is just how stupid are you? Let me make this easy for you. How did you meet Jimmy Duncan? And you better not say who, because if you do, we'll bury you so deep, they'll find Jimmy Hope before you. Now, how did you meet Jimmy Duncan? A friend introduced us. Glenn Carter? How did you know? Picked him up last night. Oh, God. Look, I can't say anything about Jimmy. What, because he's such a good friend? No, it's just that he's threatened me. He said if I ever open my mouth, he will... Well, you know. Yeah, I do. And I guess that kind of goes to territory. That doesn't make any difference. I want to know everything you know about him. This guy's moving more product around town than you even know. I want to know the supply.